In this tutorial, we'll look at how to set up your leadership portfolio in the website Live Text. This uh, tutorial assumes that you already have a copy of or have purchased your access to Live Text. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we go to the website livetext.com. You don't need this, it jumps to that as soon as you log in. Then at the top right, you'll see a place to log in. And here we go. You'll see there are several tabs going across the top. And all right. I'm going to show you several things that you can do in here. I'm just learning live text, so this is what I know so far. There's a leadership portfolio template, so I'll show you how to get started with that file. That'll save you a lot of time. And then how to change those sections, attach files, manage the pages and sections, how to send it for review and to share with faculty, your regional or leadership and learning group, and with people who don't have a live text account. So with that, let's start off by making a new file. We're going to go to Documents, and then we're going to click New. And when you get here, you'll see it says Choose a Folder. You want to come down to the Andrews School of Education Portfolios folder and that will change this to have the leadership portfolio template and then give it a title something interesting you can always change this later and then you'll see a link down here that says save as new document and it's gonna save and then what you'll see is uh, different sections going down the side. There's actually quite a set of them for all the competencies. And then over here you have several interesting buttons that we'll come back to. And you have the editing button. You'll just have to do this the first time when you're uh, creating your file. Now you have your portfolio template ready to go and you'll just continue adding to it. So let me show you now how to write in it. I'm going to go to my introduction here and you can see it's listed there and I'm going to scroll over this thing doesn't resize too well the edit buttons always over here on the right and now you get to a window that's fairly word like right. now just look at a few things you've got um, different font changes that you can do you can link to things so if you have artifacts and items that you want to show that are already online you can use this link you can also, if you're really techie, do um, source if you want to put some amazing HTML code in there. You can also spell check, which of course is quite critical. All right, now the part that you're really going to be interested in is image. If you attach an image, it will go onto this page. So let me just grab a picture of myself and toss it in here. If I can just find one. All right, I found my picture and now I'm going to attach. And then I'm going to finish. And now I can choose where I want to put this picture. And I think I'm going to put it to the right of my text and click save. I'm sure you can dream up some interesting ways that you could use this in your text. You'll see that it is showing up here on the side. Let me save. I'm going to go over here. This window is a little too wide, sorry. I'm going to click Finish, which saves, saves it. And notice how in this section my picture's on the side, a little bit too big, and there's my text. All right, so you can add a picture. Obviously, some competencies, maybe that would be appropriate, and others, not so much. Uh, you can make that decision. I'm going to actually edit this and I can remove it and I'm done now it's gone alright same thing with attachments you can click edit and browse let me pause and find some files alright I found one file and I'm going to add another one so you can see that you can actually attach more than one file at a time and I could just keep doing browse attach browse attach until all the files that go with this are set then I finish and save and there is are my files now this is what it looks like I'm clicking finish in the far right 
and see how they are attached to this section. So you can write text in here, make it pretty, make it fancy, and attach files as well. Okay, now let's talk about how you can manage pages and sections. These things going down the side, introduction, IDP, philosophy, etc., these are all pages, considered pages. And then within each of these, these are considered sections. So let me click on one of these pages and you can see there's a section for each one. Introduction, artifacts, verifications, reflection paper. And all the text you write in here would, would make this expand and you can attach files as well as there's files already attached in the template. So you might not like these and you want to change them around. It's kind of painful, that's why the template's made ahead of time for you. But um, there are a few things you can do. First you can go to Manage Pages and you'll see all of those pages are listed. And in this case you may want to actually change the individually chosen option to mean something else. So on here, here we go. On this uh, screen when you're editing the pages, right here it says Edit Titles and you need to select the right one. I want to change my individually chosen option, edit titles, and mine is technology and collaboration. And now I've edited my title. And I'm clicking finish. And you can do the same thing with sections. Each time you edit sections, you're editing it, the sections for that page. So if I did manage sections on this page, I'm changing the sections for the introduction. If I go to one of the competency pages and I do manage sections, it's the same thing. It's just like editing the pages. So you can play with that or you can leave it already set up for you. Okay, now there are three different ways that you can share this file with other people. So let me just show you those. When you're on your uh, page looking at your portfolio, there's two buttons here, one that says Send for Review, the other one that says Share. Both of them bring up the same kind of a menu, basically looks the same, and you're looking for individual usernames. So this is people who have an account already in live text. The difference between the two is if you send for review, it sends a current copy of it and it goes to that person. It doesn't send them an email, at least at this time, so you have to let them know you sent it th to them and share lets you have someone who's viewing it or even editing it and that's under advanced sharing options so you can use either sh uh, send for review or share I probably will be using share with my regional uh, group and just have them be viewers now if you want to share it with your regional group and e the easiest way is not to have to add their account each time but set up a group and you can do that over here under tools and references and click on groups and you can create a new group I'm going to call this regional group or you may be using the new term learning leadership and learning group and then I click members and then I can add members and again I'm looking for people who have accounts in the site so that doesn't work for anyone that doesn't have an account all right, the other way you can share is with people outside of live text, and you do that by creating a pass. The pass is also under Tools and References, and it's under here called, under the tab called Visitor Passes, and you create a new pass, Test Visitor Pass. You can call it whatever you want, Regional Group. Click Save then you'll see that there's this code. This code is what the visitors need to get access to it, but first you have to actually add a document that has this pass on it. So we're going to go back to documents, click on our, I think I'm going to run out of time here, I can only do this for 10 minutes. Click on your file and go back to share and this is where under advanced sharing off uh, options that you would add your visitor pass and your visitors would access this by on this front page typing in that code right here in visitor pass area and that would give them access to your file. So those are the ways that you can use your uh, live text for your portfolio and sharing with others.